Hello and welcome to this video for iRef for Rhino and today I'm going to show you the ground plane feature. We are working with a beta version of the software so be aware that in the final version this might look different however the functionality will still be the same. So right now we have these uh, wonderful speakers here and we'd like to place them on the ground plane and see some reflections and instead of putting some geometry that is reflective there we have this wonderful feature called ground plane that we can enable and that is catching shadows as well as reflections there. So once we enable it we see like these shadows and by using the shadow density we can determine how strong the shadow wave, shadowing effects are captured on this plane. So by setting it to 1, that would be the regular value. If we want to bring it down, like we just we say 0 0.1, you see uh, the shadows are a bit weaker, but we can also exaggerate it by setting it to 3 and we get these very strong shadows that are not realistic, but you know, in some circumstances you'd like to see shadows like that. However, you see Apparently we're not touching the ground yet, so the ground plane, you can clearly see that, is at the wrong height and you can dial in the ground height here or you can just conveniently pick somewhere a position for picking, make sure that you have OSNAP enabled with the right picking properties here and so, so we just pick near the edge and you see now the object is really sitting on the ground plane. So what about the reflections? The reflections can be dialed in by increasing the glossiness. Right now we are seeing diffuse reflections. So we need to increase the value, let's say to 30, to start seeing these glossy reflections. So these are uh, very glossy and the higher we set the value, um, the more crisp they become. You see now a value of 300 makes them much crisper, 3000 they're even clearer and if you want to really to have mirror-like reflections dial in an extremely high value something like a million and then you have mirror-like reflections and uh, using the reflectivity color you can tint them or you know reduce the intensity of the reflection if you don't want the re reflection to be that strong. So that's the ground plane feature in iRef or Rhino.